In this tutorial, I would like to present about virtual flight test. A drone will be flying over the city and will be having a sector antenna placed one of the, on one of the buildings on top of the building. Then it needs to establish the connection with, with the drone. We will see how we are going to set up this uh, particular application in WinProc. Yeah, you can see over here, we do have a Frankfurt. We have chosen here a database Frankfurt city and a drone is flying uh, uh, in the city uh, at specific heights. We will be taking, we will be designing this particular simulation using virtual flight test in urban scenario. Of course, as I mentioned, it will be taking a custom flight, flight path. Before starting that, we will just get the radiation pattern of the drone mounted with an antenna and we will be seeing that particular thing and get the radiation pattern from the uh, drone and we'll be using that uh, radiation pattern for our further analysis in WinProp. Let me quickly jump on to component library feature in FICO and let me get back to the drone. I'm launching my FICO launcher over here. You can see I do have a CAD FICO. I would like to go ahead with the CAD FICO application. And once I have my CAD FICO opens up in on my window, I would like to go to the create new model. Then what I need to do is to go to the component library feature over here. And I would like to bring my drone over here, which is going to fly around the city. Okay. I got my drone available into the component library feature that is available over here. Then what I would like to do is I would like to go ahead and bring an antenna mount I would then mount that particular antenna on top of the drone or beneath the drone. Okay, same thing again. I go to the component library feature and I would like to bring a monopole antenna. You can see over here monopole antenna. I would like to choose capacitor hat. It's up to you based on the user choice. They can use any antenna as they require. I can go ahead and I would like to choose the 900 mega H. That is the application I would like to use for this particular uh, drone radiation pattern, which I would like to work with. I'm choosing the single frequency. Then I would like to have a ground plane. Otherwise, I don't need to have a ground plane. That's fine. I can use the drone as a ground plane. And I, of course, I would like to use the align operation over here. Then let me make it a add to model. I got my drone. Uh, with the antenna mounted on the drone is available. However, I would like to rotate this particular uh, uh, antenna to 180 degrees so that it will be tilted in the opposite direction and will be getting a nice radiation pattern. Okay, and I tilted by 90 degrees and I'm going to tilt it by one more 90 degrees. And you can see over here, I got my uh, capacitor hat monopole antenna. Then once I have this particular antenna, I can go to the far field radiation pattern and I would like to go ahead to the advanced tab and I would like to request the fields to be ASCII file so that I can use this particular pattern in my application of FinProp. Apply and I would like to save this particular thing over here. Let me save as on the desktop. Clear a creative folder. Let me create a new folder. And I would like to be created room over city and I will be using this particular thing over there. Okay. And I'm going to create the drone with monopole. Okay. The simple thing. I'm going to save this particular thing drone with monopole antenna. So once I have this particular thing, I can run this particular simulation using the FICO solver and we can get the radiation pattern over here from this particular thing. And I already have simulated that particular radiation pattern and it is available for me. I would like to open that one now for our understanding purposes. Okay, let me uh, let me open the far field pattern for me over here so that we can get the drone plus radiation pattern. Okay. I just showed you how can we establish the drone uh, in the component library feature and we'll be using this particular radiation pattern, which I got it. Okay, and we'll be using this radiation pattern. Then let me jump on to the ProMan to set up everything. Okay, I would like to launch ProMan over here. 
and then once i have the pro man application i would like to create a new project file new project and i would like to choose a network planning based on a description file for air interface that means it's going to look for a uh, wireless standard file that is lte band 5 with bandwidth of 10 megahertz and frequency division duplexing uh, that is the wireless standard that is available ftd fdd okay then i can select a particular standard of course users can have their own privilege to select their uh, wireless standard files there are a lot of library of uh, uh, wireless standard files that are available in the library if they're not happy they can use their own uh, custom made wireless standard file and also we do have options in winpro once i have that particular thing i can choose the urban scenarios then i can choose a uh, pre-processed database so that it can save some time for me for my analysis okay i am going to bring my frankfurt.oip map into my analysis uh, analysis i got my database i got my wireless uh, uh, interface standard file available and i can click ok and i would like to select the zero height as a just for the prediction height uh, don't worry about that particular thing just just the prediction height okay i got my buildings available over here for my analysis purposes and then let me go ahead and place an antenna on top of the building okay let me tell select the red circle over here uh, so that i can select that particular thing and select the site operation just click it over here and then select this particular antenna and edit and of course we would like to select the uh, sector antenna which i would like to place it on top of the building i already had a, a sector antenna radiation pattern i would like to use that particular thing and i would like to bring that particular thing into this particular uh, winprop uh, proman uh, application okay then i would like to assign the carrier for this particular uh, thing i would like to choose the 2450 uh, uh downlink downlink is 87 874 megahertz and uplink is 829 megahertz that is the carrier i would like to choose okay and i would like to transmit of uh, transmit the 100 watt over here okay then i'm going to press okay and select okay that i have my antenna available and i would like to move this antenna to a certain height above the building i'm choosing this particular 35 meters over here Okay, it is asking me to move this particular antenna above the building. Yes, please. I want to move that particular thing. Yes. Once I have my antenna available, then I can go ahead and set the route uh, in the uh, Frankfurt city where it needs to move along the corners or the streets. Okay. Let me select the trajectory over here. Predict prediction, prediction trajectories. Okay. And uh, let me... Uh, build the route for me. I would like to select the route for my drone to fly in the city and then I would like to go appropriately then I do have this particular thing and then I would like to have my drone to fly appropriately in this route in this street I would like to I would like to have my drone to fly over here okay in this route then i would like to go in this way, 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 way yeah you can see over here yeah you can take your way i got my route selected once i have my draw, uh, antenna site on the top of the building i kept the route then it's the time for me to go to the important heart of the important application for this particular part is everything is available in project edit project parameter all the things pertaining to this application in winprop is available over here go to edit project parameter and air interface file you can see all the things that are available regarding the uh, duplex okay and you can see it brings the up the file will be which we brought over here has all the information regarding this particular wireless standard okay then i would like to go ahead and select the simulation and trajectory and edit the trajectory uh, i would like to choose the number of points okay because i as i told you my drone is flying at different heights I wanted to update it appropriately. Okay. First, I will choose like 30 so that it can automatically update all the points. And I can choose certain heights if I want. I want this particular point to be at 10. And I want other point to be 50. And I want other point to be 70. And I want to be at the point at 100. You can choose all the heights however you want. Similarly, it can decrease the height. 
once it reaches there it can re reduce the height as well appropriately similarly you can work with your velocity as well over here similarly you can change your pitch roll axis over here uh, rotation angles appropriately once you have this particular thing just click ok ok and you do have a pitch roll and information available then what I would like to go ahead and do is I would like to go with the traffic. There is nothing much I can do with the traffic and network tabs. Yes, network tab, I would like to get maximum achievable throughput. That is the information I would like to get. And immediately I would like to jump onto the propagation. Okay, this is where I would like to get my information. I would like to tag this particular path with the drone uh, that is flying, the radiation pattern which we get got from Pico. I would like to tag that with that particular radiation pattern with these points, prediction points. Okay. Let me select that particular thing, consider antenna of mobile station, edit parameters, and select the drone radiation pattern, drone.ffe file, which we just now got it from our FICO simulation. Okay. Just select that particular thing and tag this particular thing to this, uh, uh, these points. Okay. Now when we do have it, and uh, by default, it is going to get the received power. That's enough for us. And it is going to get all the necessary relevant information. Then once I have this particular thing, I would like to go to the sites tab. And I would like to add a external source uh, for with this particular thing uh, that has the characteristics, some random noise, right? So some random interference, out of band interference that is producing. I would like to add that particular thing. Select the external site. That means some random, uh, some random information, random signal which is coming with uh, constant signal power uh, for minus 40 dBm. Similarly, out of band, which is uh, working at out of band, uh, 20 dB. Okay, interference due to leakage from other signals lead to the frequency bands used by transmitters in this project. Okay, then hit okay. We do have my have my antenna and I have my interference and everything is available. Then go to the computation tab, use the 3D regress, 3D IRT, then go to the settings and yeah, just please use the default settings that are available for now. That should be okay. Then click okay and then let me go ahead, file, save project as. Let me give you a tag and name to this particular thing and I would like to copy it on the drone over city over here with the name virtual flight test VFT okay a drone is flying over the city in the urban scenario then I can go ahead and go to the computation tab and perform the run all computation that's it it will perform all the things for us it will probably going to propagate the, it will perform the pure propagation analysis at the same time it is going to perform the mobile station analysis network simulations everything in one shot it is going to do for us okay run all computations also, you can access this from this left hand uh, menu over here, run propagation, mobile station, network analysis. Otherwise, you can run all. Okay. I already did this particular the simulations earlier. I just want to bring that particular thing, screen over here so that we can save some time for our, uh, for this particular tutorial. I already, as I mentioned to you, I did perform the simulation. You can see over here, uh, the power information that is available minus 35 dB, uh, around the city. Similarly, I do have, um, mobile station results available and also I would like to check the more maximum throughput that is what the data rates how it is getting connected uh, whether we have the weak signal or the strong signal that's what it is going to provide for us then I'm going to go ahead and get some of the ray information okay so that we can see how it is because it is exactly behind the buildings I want to see how I'm it is contributing to my signal let me go to the 3d radiation pattern and get the okay get the analysis so you see how it is getting uh, how we are getting the signal it is basically uh, having the reflections on from different parts of the buildings and that particular reflections are getting contributed and we are having a signal over here it is no direct interaction but it is getting from the reflections let me quickly animate of this particular scenario and see how the things are going on okay you can see a animate button over here let me quickly animate this particular thing and yeah i would like to save this particular thing yeah that's fine let me replace it that's fine you can see quickly over here how the rays are taking place in this particular virtual flight test or drone my drone is flying at different heights let me animate again so that to get the feel of it okay 
and it is flying going around the city along the, the streets of this particular uh, uh, urban scenario okay it's the Frankfurt map and we can see all how how good we could able to get the information and the data rates appropriately okay with this i'm going to conclude my tutorial thank you folks for uh, listening to this tutorial hope you enjoyed the video thanks